Shalom, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat, and welcome to Breaking News from Israel. Israel's at war. We've exhalated to a new level. Thousands upon thousands of rockets are pounding Israel, south to north, north from the Hezbollah in Lebanon, and south from Gaza. Airplanes and helicopters flying over. What the world news is reporting is just a fraction of what's happening. It's much worse. As believers in Yeshua, we understand that this is Bible prophecy. We understand that the time is short. We understand that Yeshua is returning soon without setting any dates. And we understand that we're not dealing here with human beings. We're dealing here with demons. These Hamas and Hezbollah terrorists are not human. They are demons. It's the Chaldean spirit. It's the Amalek spirit. As time passes in the war, we're beginning to see more and more what these demons, Hezbollah and Hamas did. We received some troubling emails from people that are saying that the Hamas did not chop off babies' heads. We have graphic pictures that they did chop off babies' heads. The IDF has pictures and videos that they did it, and so does the Israeli government. In this corner of this living room, we find a concentration of eight babies burned among 15 other people. I think it's not a war. It's not a battlefield. You see the babies, the mother, the fathers in the bedrooms, in the protection rooms, and how the terrorists kill them. It's not a war. It's not a battlefield. It's a massacre. It's a terror act activity. And we got very, very disturbing reports of, uh, that came from the ground that there were babies that had been beheaded. And I admit, it took us some time to really understand and, and to verify that report. And it was hard to believe that even Hamas could uh, uh, perform such a barbaric act. But after eyewitnesses came forward and after a senior official in the Israeli coronary service, Zaka, came forward on record on CBS News and said, yes, I saw the bodies of beheaded babies. I think we can now say with relative confidence that this is unfortunately what happened in Be'eri. Be this is what Hamas did to Israeli civilians. They burned babies alive. They burned families alive. They raped many women. The demons don't have age restriction. The demons don't have gender restrictions. The demons, all they know is to destroy. And they're coming after Israel. And the real battle is over spiritual Israel, the body of Yeshua, the body of Jesus. Because Satan knows that his time is short. Satan knows that his days are numbered. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and the sea, because the devil has gone down to you. He is filled with fury, because he knows that his time is short. And these Hamas and Hezbollah killers and demons are exactly that. But the good news is that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yeshua, Jesus, will prevail, as written in the Bible, before the foundation of the world, that Satan and his demons will be thrown into the lake of fire. Elim, Psalms 83, verse 4. Come, they say, let us destroy them as a nation, so that Israel's name is remembered no more. This is what it's all about. It started in Israel, and it's going to end in Israel. Yeshua is going to come back, and his feet are going to land on the Mount of Olives. And this is why Satan and his demons want to destroy Israel. But the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob says, I will protect Israel. Ultimately, Yeshua is going to destroy Hamas and Hezbollah, the demons. Yesterday, I visited with the team, a family that lives outside of Tel Aviv, and they were in the Ichilov Hospital in Tel Aviv. The boy was 17 and the, and the girl, 18 years old, who is serving in the IDF, were hospitalized. They were both injured. The boy lost his leg you know, as the Hamas threw a hand grenade. The parents, the mother, father, and the other brother were all killed and burned. And they were hiding in the bomb room. They had a bomb room in their house and they were able to hear the parents and the brother and other people screaming as they're being burnt alive by Hamas. Brothers and sisters, I have many, many accounts like this that the ministry is encountering. I don't want to share everything here. It's I don't want to get too graphic, but the things that the people of Israel are going through, the things that the, the, the people that we are comforting, the people that we're ministering to are going through is 
you don't even hear about this in a movie. It's worse than the Holocaust. You know, in the Holocaust, they killed. But here, they didn't just kill. Here, they tortured. There are 200 that are being, that are kidnapped. The numbers change. Sometimes it's 180. Sometimes they say it's 220. The truth of the matter is, Israel doesn't exactly know because they're still counting dead bodies. So they don't know who's kidnapped and who's not. But it's at, at least 200, including babies, including elderly people, including teenagers, including IDF soldiers. As I said, these demons don't have any, any gender. They don't have any heart. That's why they're demons. They don't have a heart. I will share one more account. It's important that the people know about this. So you, the news is not going to report this. The world needs to know. The believers need to know as you're praying for Israel, because that's all we can do right now. We can pray. We're called to pray as believers. We preach the gospel. We share the love of Yeshua. This is what we're supposed to do as the body of Yeshua. Satan and his demons want to suppress the truth. They want to suppress the gospel. We march forward. We'll continue to preach the gospel no matter what. In fact, we increase the preaching of the gospel now. Praise Yeshua. So I, I got the name. His name is Ephraim. He allowed me to share his name, Ephraim. He lives in Yavne. He was there at the party, and his brother was there with him. His brother uh, got beheaded right in front of him, and he was able to escape. Uh, he got shot in the back. He was in the hospital for a few days. He's doing okay. So some they just shot, some they beheaded, some they shot and beheaded, some they burned. Horrific stories. They massacred a kibbutz. They massacred many settlements. They just went in there and destroyed and murdered and chopped people's head off and burned them alive and raped the women and killed babies. They took a jigsaw and they just cut an Israeli soldier alive into pieces in front of the family, in front of other people, and then they cut the family. You're not going to hear about this, but yes, they cut people with jigsaws alive. Children are hiding under beds. They're scared, having nightmares. Many stores are closed. Many businesses are closed. Schools have, are closed. There are a few businesses that are operating. Supermarkets are operating. Uh, they're missing a lot of products because there's no one to distribute them. Everybody's either at the army or injured or scared. As of the making of this video, the situation is escalating to a higher and higher level. Everybody's waiting for the Israeli IDF to go inside Gaza. One thing is certain, when they do go in, Yeshua HaMashiach will protect them. The IDF soldiers of Israel are ready. They're going to destroy Hamas. Isaiah 44, verse 6. The Lord who rules and protects Israel, the Lord Almighty, has this to say. I am the first and the last, the only God. There is no other God but me. Hamas, Hezbollah. The demons and Satan are going to learn that Yeshua is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And those who touch Israel touch the apple of God's eye. Zechariah, Zechariah 2 verse 8. For this is what the Lord Almighty says. After the glorious one has sent me against the nations that have plundered you. For whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. Referring to Israel. Whoever touches Israel touches the apple of God's eye. So Hamas and Hezbollah are in a dangerous position because now they have to deal with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Unfortunately, there'll continue to be many casualties in this war. We pray for the families. We pray for the protection of Israel. Tehillim, Psalms 122, verse 6. We're reaching the people. We're also preaching the gospel, sharing the love of Yeshua. We're asking for all those who can help. Please help us. Please help the families in Israel in this urgent situation. Please help to give these people a $200 voucher for food or more as the Lord leads during this emergency situation here in Israel. Whatever you give, the full amount will be given to the victims of terrorism in Israel. You can go to messiahofisraelministries.org.com or .net or zephorministries.com. Also be a link here in the description bar that you can donate for this cause. You can also donate for the preaching of the gospel in Israel and many other projects. We're doing what we can. We're small people with a big God. Let's continue to stand together as the one new man, Ephesians 2.15. Work the harvest together. Bring the gospel back to Jerusalem and go home. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Until next time, I'm Messianic Rabbi Zephorat, reporting live from Israel. Shalom.